After enjoying breakfast on the deck overlooking the lake, Michelle began to plan her day. She knew there were things she needed to do to get the house ready for vacation, such as calling the landscaper to arrange for weekly garbage pickup during her stay, and taking a better inventory of the refrigerator for a shopping run. This she thought would be her first task after arranging the garbage pickup. She desperately wanted to make a return trip to the general store to investigate the diaper aisle again. While attempting to put the pieces of last night's experience together, Michelle wondered if there was some connection between the store and the diapers. Clearly there was some sort of supernatural force in play here that had bestowed the power to manipulate reality upon the diapers in that store. She wanted to find out more, but did not want to look too suspicious doing it. After breakfast had been cleaned up, Michelle got herself dressed and emptied the trash in the upstairs bathroom which had contained her wet diaper from the night before. She couldn't resist the urge to look inside the plastic bag containing her used diaper and even poke her finger at it to make sure she wasn't hallucinating or dreaming the whole event. Yup, still real she said to herself. She took the trash out and even emptied the kitchen trash so that she would have something to put on top of the diaper in the trash bin outside. Even though there was very little trash at this point in her vacation, and that any garbage collector wouldn't bother to question a diaper found in the trash, Michelle felt the need to hide this evidence of last night's adventure. She felt naughty about her desire to put on the diaper and what had followed, and very embarrassed about having wet the diaper uncontrollably during her sleep. Still she could not resist the urge to continue indulging her desire, and, with the panic of not being stuck in the body of a preteen gone, she now had a strong urge to explore this phenomenon further, perhaps even to satisfy some other urges that the experience had aroused in her. With the morning chores complete, Michelle gathered her sunglasses and car keys and headed for the store. She knew the store had been there for years, but she had never done any extensive shopping while at the lake house because that had always been the job of her parents. This being the first time she had used the lake house on her own as an adult, she finally had the opportunity to explore the town in more detail. It had been several years since Michelle had actually visited the lake house. She had stopped up the summer after her college graduation to visit her parents, but hadn't done any shopping then as her mother had stocked the house well before she arrived. That had been almost four years ago. Beginning her adult life, finding a job, an apartment, paying for her first car, all these things had kept her away from Maine and the lake house until now. If her suspicions about this store and the diapers were true, Michelle knew that finding time to visit the lake house would become a new priority in her life. She pulled into the parking lot of the general store, only about a 10-minute drive from the lake house. The store appeared to be busy this morning, there were several cars in the lot Michelle looked around as she got out of her car, she wasn't sure why she had done this, she didn't know anyone in the area anymore and surely no one would recognize her. As she walked into the store, she saw a woman with three young children at the checkout counter. The youngest, a girl, was a toddler of about three years at the most. On the checkout counter was a package of pampers, clearly for the girl. Michelle's heart sank as she looked at the package, it was clearly the newer pampers baby dry with the cloth-like cover. What had happened? Could the store have possibly restocked its shelves overnight? She knew there had been nothing but old-style pampers packages on that shelf the other day, the store was small and she knew that there was only one shelf with baby diapers. She needed to find out if her hopes had been crushed. She grabbed a cart and casually began to shop. She had put together a list of items she needed for the house which she had not picked up the other day. Quickly she rounded the corner and entered the aisle where the diaper shelf had been. To her surprise it was exactly as it had been the other day, Pampers Baby Dry circa mid-90s. Where had the woman at the checkout gotten the newer package from? Michelle wondered to herself. This was very strange she thought. Just as she was completing her thought another woman wandered into the aisle and went straight for a package of Pampers. Michelle watched the women pick the package off the shelf and as soon as the package was removed from the shelf and placed in the woman's cart, the labeling and package design changed to the current day format right before Michelle's eyes. This is so bizarre Michelle said quietly to herself as the woman left the aisle. Michelle picked up another package of size 6 pampers and placed it in her own cart. Nothing happened, to the package, the labeling remained the same. She stared at the package for a minute expecting it to change to a newer product, but nothing happened. This is amazing, she thought. She then grabbed some baby wipes, lotion, and baby powder. Her mother hadn't always gone the full distance with lotion and powder when diapering Michelle for bed as a young girl, but why not go for broke Michelle now thought as she loaded up her cart. She finished collecting the other items she needed, coffee filters, trash bags, pasta and pasta sauce, vegetables, etc., and made her way to the checkout counter. Stocking up on supplies for the toddler, said a voice from behind the counter. Michelle looked up and saw the same 16-year-old girl behind the counter that she had seen the other day. UMMO, yes hi, it's Jen Wright. Michelle responded. That's right Jen answered, when does the little one arrive, she asked. Not for another day, just thought I'd better be prepared answered Michelle. 
You'd better enjoy the peace and quiet while you can then, said Jen. My offer to baby sit still stands if you need me, she added. Oh I'm sure I'll enjoy the peace and quiet, said Michelle with a slight grin on her face. And I've still got your number so we'll call if we need you. She pulled out her checkbook and finished paying for the groceries. She didn't realize that she had left her sunglasses on the checkout counter as she said goodbye to Jen and left the store with her groceries. On the drive home Michelle thought about the young cashier, Jen had been very inquisitive she though. She thought that Jen was very attractive and must be a popular girl with the local boys, although one thing about Jen struck her as being odd. Jen's clothing certainly didn't complement her figure. Michelle thought that Jen must have a very attractive figure beneath the outfits she had seen the cashier in. Jen had worn baggy jeans and a long t-shirt the first day Michelle had seen her, today she was wearing baggy overalls with a tight white shirt underneath. Today's outfit was a bit more revealing in that it showed off Jen's shapely breasts. A bit more than a B cup, thought Michelle. However the overalls did nothing to show off the curves of Jen's hips or her nice behind as Michelle imagined she must have. Jen must be a modest girl she thought as she pulled into the drive at the lake house. She quickly unpacked the groceries and brought the second package of Pampers upstairs. She placed them in the closet alongside the first package, placed the other changing items on a shelf just above, and then headed down to the kitchen to fix herself some lunch. Even though she was excited to test her theory about the diapers, she was quite hungry and wanted to make sure she had enough fluids in her to be able to wet the diaper for her experiment. She fixed herself a sandwich and poured a large glass of iced tea and headed out to the deck to enjoy her lunch. While she ate, Michelle fantasized this time of being 14 again, her last full year in nighttime diapers. Years of being subconscious of her bedwetting problem, and the fear that it may return, as it had only briefly from time to time after nights of excessive drinking, had kept Michelle away from encounters with the opposite sex. Just the same, she knew what she liked, and was also embarrassed by it. Since her early teens, she had always fantasized about diapers and the feelings of pleasure she had achieved while wearing them. Not until this morning did she think that she would ever indulge herself in those pleasures again. She had the house to herself now for the rest of the day and all day tomorrow. She was surrounded by forest and lake, the nearest neighbors were a quarter of a mile down the road and kept to themselves, the mail had been stopped, she would start it up again after tomorrow, and the garbage collector was not coming until Friday. Michelle finished her second big glass of iced tea, left the sandwich plate and empty glass on the kitchen counter and went upstairs to her bedroom. She closed the door and took off her cloths. Opening the closet, she took out a fresh pamper, opened the bottom half and laid it on the bed. This is going to be heaven she said. After enjoying breakfast on the deck overlooking the lake, Michelle began to plan her day. She knew there were things she needed to do to get the house ready for vacation, such as calling the landscaper to arrange for weekly garbage pickup during her stay, and taking a better inventory of the refrigerator for a shopping run. This she thought would be her first task after arranging the garbage pickup. She desperately wanted to make a return trip to the general store to investigate the diaper aisle again. While attempting to put the pieces of last night's experience together, Michelle wondered if there was some connection between the store and the diapers. Clearly there was some sort of supernatural force in play here that had bestowed the power to manipulate reality upon the diapers in that store. She wanted to find out more, but did not want to look too suspicious doing it. After breakfast had been cleaned up, Michelle got herself dressed and emptied the trash in the upstairs bathroom which had contained her wet diaper from the night before. She couldn't resist the urge to look inside the plastic bag containing her used diaper and even poke her finger at it to make sure she wasn't hallucinating or dreaming the whole event. Yup, still real she said to herself. She took the trash out and even emptied the kitchen trash so that she would have something to put on top of the diaper in the trash bin outside. Even though there was very little trash at this point in her vacation, and that any garbage collector wouldn't bother to question a diaper found in the trash, Michelle felt the need to hide this evidence of last night's adventure. She felt naughty about her desire to put on the diaper and what had followed, and very embarrassed about having wet the diaper uncontrollably during her sleep. Still she could not resist the urge to continue 